okay guys welcome back to my channel so on this video i'm going to be showing you how to change this kind of mouthpiece because most of like the problem of this mouthpiece is that whenever you want to like replace the problem of this kind of like downboard is like whenever you want to replace the charging point in the process the mouthpiece gets spoiled and then you have to buy a old board a old new board and that will be just too too much of expenses but on this video i'm going to show you how to replace the mouthpiece this kind of mouthpiece like so guys i'm not going to take you through the phone opening process because as an engineer you're supposed to be able to do that so like in this video i'm talking to the professionals because if you're watching this video just to like try to repair your phone so if you are watching this video just to like try to repair your phone and along the way along watching the video things got complex and you don't really understand some parts of the video like i would advise you to leave it to the professionals or comment in the comment section down below for the parts you don't really understand then i'll try explaining it to you so let's move on in this video i'm not really going to be doing the particle work i'm just going to be giving you like instructions on what to do so let's get down to business so the first thing you have to do is disconnect the battery and then open up That is the mouthpiece you are working with. Yes. So then we have to eat up the mouthpiece. We have to eat up the mouthpiece with the like candle or a source of it. Anyone, but I'm going to be using candle. Place at a considerate distance. Don't keep it too near to the fire and too far to the fire. Put some paste. This is the paste I'm talking about. It's a sodium paste, so you have to get it. So after eating up, your stuff will disconnect. Like this, the problem with this kind of like this kind of mouthpiece is that whenever you want to like remove it, they tend to like peel with the board, with the board, but this didn't peel. So, thank God, let's move on. After disconnecting, we have something like this. We have about five terminals. One, two, three, four, five. And on the mouthpiece too, we have five. We have five on the mouthpiece too. Can you see this? I don't know. Okay, let me know. So that's kind of a problem for you guys, but that's not really a problem because that's what I'll be rectifying now. So after removing the mouthpiece, you have to put a new one. Now, I want you guys to listen to me in this part. The termi this terminal here and the terminal here are the minus. That's the GND. That's the ground. While this terminal here, the first terminal and the last terminal here, 
that's the three side the side with the three terminal the first and last is the positive the mistake most people make sometimes is that they only connect the positive one positive side to one negative side without bridging these two together i'm talking about the part with the three terminals you don't need to bridge these two together because they are connected already together you just have to bridge this one together if you if you don't bridge it together and connect only one positive and one negative it's not going to work you have to bridge these two together and then connect to one negative that's bridge these two together and connect to one negative one leg of the mouthpiece something like this so that's just it make sure make sure they're not connecting to the middle terminal make sure you don't have any bridge with the middle terminal with the middle terminal make sure they're not having any bridge so i'm just doing this for the sake of the video after doing this i'll show you 100 percent the mouse piece of your phone will work and everything will do perfectly if this video helped in any way please consider subscribing and turn on the notification button to get notified anytime i post a new video hello 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 hello